Welcome to Two Minute Tips with H.M. Ward. That's me. Um, I'm a New York Times bestselling author, and the purpose of this video is to help and share knowledge about the publishing industry. So here we go. One of the main questions that I've gotten so far is how do I know where to start my story? There's a rule of thumb that will help you with that. Generally speaking, you want to start your story as late as possible. That sounds weird because you're like, well, what about the backstory? You need to think of a story as a timeline, okay? It has a beginning and an end. But this character, for them to feel real and for your story and world to really speak to people, they need to come across as living beings, in which case you're only telling a fraction of their lifespan, right? And so think of it as a photograph. You're taking a picture of something um, and it specifically happened at this period in time. And so that's what you want to do when you decide to start your story. The second tip is that there is a catalyst that starts your story. Without it, your story doesn't exist. Um, so like in my debut novel, um, it took me a while to figure out what the heck it was, but that's what it is. It's a catalyst. It's an event that starts, that happens to the main character, and without it, you have no story. So like in Demon Kissed, she gets a soul-sucking kiss that kind of screws up her whole life. Without that, you don't have the rest of the series that goes with that book. In the Arrangement series, you have Avery going down Deer Park Avenue and gets carjacked. If Sean Farrow didn't come along at that point in time, you wouldn't have that series. It's what happened, and it can be something big or it can be something minor. It's usually what happened to someone, what put them with someone, what happened in this uh, life series of events, or what tore them apart. Um, you can back up a little bit to help uh, get to know the character, but generally speaking, you want to start as late as you can. There are other factors that go into how to decide where to start the story exactly. Like, you need to develop empathy for the character, so you don't want to start right when something bad happens to them because nobody cares about them at this point. You want to make them real. And so the goal is to make them as real as possible in as short as time as possible. Um, and Demon Kissed, it took me probably... I don't know, a few chapters to establish the character, create likability, create character empathy, stuff like that. And the arrangement, four pages. Part of the reason why is because it's a novella. If you're writing shorter works, you have less time to do that. So that's going to be for another two minute tip because I'm over. And that's it for today. <laughs> I'll have some more for you another time. Thanks. Bye.